everybody, welcome back to another grilling and smoking video. I know you see a pressure cooker here, but don't, don't let it kid you. This is really going to be a smoking, grilling, roasting video. We recently took a trip to Georgia. When I think of Georgia, I think of a few things. I think of the mountains in northern Georgia. They're beautiful. I think of barbecue, peaches, and peanuts. That's what we're doing today. We are going to do roast some peanuts. Now, if you do this, make sure you get um, raw or green nuts. You don't want to get salted and roasted. Make sure you get the, the raw ones. Um, and we're going to do this two different ways. We're going to do some, they're just going to be salted in a brine solution. That's what the pressure cooker is here for. I don't really have the patience to do a 48 hour soak in a brine to get the, um, the salt flavor inside of the shells. When you crack it open, you have that delicious roasted, salty flavored nut. Uh, instead, I'm going to be doing this in a pressure cooker with the thought that this is going to speed up a lot of that process. I started with two cups of plain table salt and four cups of water, or 50% uh, brine solution. You just wanna put the salt and the water in there. Use warm tap water, it helps dissolve the uh, salt a little bit better. And then just mix this up, and that's all I'm doing here. I'm just using my hand, I'm, I'm mixing this up a little bit. Now normally when people do this, they will create a brine solution, they'll put the nuts in there and they'll cover, put some weight on it to hold it down into the brine solution and they'll let it sit for 24 to 48 hours. Most people let it do just 24 hours trying to do this at home, they don't end up with a lot of salt flavor. So really it's 48 hours minimum. Um, and then you have to take them out and dry them, right? Because in order to roast them, they can't have any moisture in them. That's part of the, that's part of the requirement, right? If not, you'd have steamed or, uh, you know, a, a, a bastardized version of boiled peanuts that doesn't even sound good to me. I'm gonna use this pressure cooker instead of just soaking them in a brine. The thought being that the pressure is gonna help push that brine solution, that very concentrated brine solution into the nuts in a shorter period of time. So we'll give this a shot and it's taken just a few minutes to get this dissolved into the into the water here. All right, the brine solution ready to go. We're just gonna go ahead and pour a layer of nuts in there. We want to make sure they will be completely submerged, which they will right there. And now we're going to use our trivet here. And we're just going to use this to push these nuts down into the liquid. That's perfect. Just stir this up one more time by hand. Go ahead and put that on there. So we're going to put the lid on and it's simply a matter now of putting these under pressure for 30 minutes. Let me show you how we set it. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and put pressure cook. We'll make sure we're set to high and normal for pressure. And we will set our time here for 30 minutes. And we'll let that fire up. And once you press pressure cook, it'll fire up here in just a second. We should hear it start. There it goes. And we wanna make sure this is set to sealing, not venting, and this weight will kind of help hold it down until it gets under pressure. We'll see you back here in a little bit. We'll let these go for a full 30 minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and release the steam out of them. All right, it's been a full 30 minutes. This has turned off. We're now gonna come on out and release it. I would suggest you actually release it rather than doing the natural release, which means you just turn it off and it takes another 30 minutes or so for it to uh, unpressurize. But we wanna get them out of the water and sitting out in the, in the sun and the air circulation here. careful really really dangerous if you get your face over that now it's important to leave these out in the sun or put a fan on them um, you really want good air circulation if you cook them if you roast them while they're wet you're essentially steaming them and it's going to taste a little bit more like a boiled peanut here's a great way to air these out probably takes less than 24 hours um, and if you can put them in direct sunlight it could just be a few hours and that would be about it but i'm just going to leave these here let them dry out real good in the sun for anywhere from a few hours to overnight. I drained out most of the water, but there was some salt that stayed in the bottom of this, which is perfect. I just added another three and a half cups of water or so, because I have a slightly smaller amount of these nuts. And I'm gonna go ahead and do these as a barbecue flavor. So we're gonna do this like we would be smoking them. I'm just gonna go ahead and put whatever your favorite um, grilling or smoking seasoning is. And I'm probably gonna do about a quarter of a cup of this. Ooh. There we go, maybe a third of a cup, given what just dropped in there. We'll mix this up a little bit. Now, when we roast these, we're gonna roast them at 350 degrees from anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 minutes. That's not a lot of time to impart some smoke flavor, so I am gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna use just a couple of drops of liquid smoke. I figure this will give it a really nice, um, 
nice smoky flavor even though we weren't able to impart all that smoke from the time in the smoker and just like before let's go ahead and pour the rest of these peanuts in there again raw or green peanuts you don't want roasted already now some of these that are already cracked open that's okay to have them in there they're just going to impart a lot of flavor in there that's all let's go ahead and push these down we'll stir them up a little bit and then i'm going to use this little trivet to hold everything down Close this up. Just like before, we'll go ahead and put these in the pressure cooker for 30 minutes with this unique barbecue and smoked flavor. We'll see you back here in about an hour or so. That's how long it'll probably take for this to get up to temperature, get pressurized, and then I'll come over here and let it um, release the pressure. We'll take them out, we'll strain out the, the water and liquid, and again, we'll set them out to dry just like we did the others. So here's a great way to lay these out. I just put them out on this little table now once these are all good and dry and we're ready to roast them, we just want to crank this up to 350 degrees and we're going to go ahead and smoke roast them at 350 degrees on the top shelf of the actual smoker. Alright, our smoker's fired up. It's at about 360 degrees. I've got the, um, the dried nuts now sitting on a little tray. I just have them laid out. You don't want them punched up. You don't want them in more than one layer. Um, really want them spread out nice and even. You want that heat to get around all sides. Remember, they must be dry. What you don't want to do is steam these. If those nuts are wet on the inside, they're just not going to taste like a good roasted nut. So let's go ahead and put these into the smoker. We'll close these down and we want these to go for about 40 to 45 minutes. We'll check them. They could go anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour and 10. So after about 45 or so, I'm going to open it up, pull one out, let it uh, crack open, see if it's good and dry and crunchy and roasted inside. And that'll be my determining factor as to whether we let it go a little longer. Like most things, right, when we do smoking meats, it's always about temperature more than time. For this, it's really about texture more than time. So definitely do a little testing here. Um, you don't want to overcook them, but boy, they're just not very good if they are um, soft in the inside, more of a texture of a bean than a nut. All right, I came out and tested these at about 30 minutes and about 40 minutes. We're right at about 45 minutes and they are starting to look pretty good. Let's go ahead and check them out. All right, so we've let these cool for just a few minutes. Remember, you gotta really be sure you're checking these fr frequently. Um, we've done a couple of batches of these, and the last one actually overcooked them a little bit. They look more like a piece of roasted coffee bean. Hmm. So it's got the crunch, exactly what you'd want in a roasted nut. Has really good flavor. These are just the salted ones, and they're, they're relatively salty. I wouldn't say they're extra salty, they're just relatively salty. It's been interesting, as we've made these, we've learned a lot about this. First of all, We've tried a lot of different times in the pressure cooker, and we've tried just soaking them in a soak bath for 48 hours. 48 hours and about 35 minutes in the pressure cooker gave me the same penetration of salt or flavor. So it was certainly a way to, to speed it up. You have to let these things dry out about 24 hours or less if they're in direct sun but don't let them sit longer than that. I had let them dry out on a table, one of the batches I made, and then I put them in a little like uh, wire uh, mesh basket, and I set them on the counter, and I left them there for three or four days, and they actually got a little bit of mold on them. It must have still been a little bit damp inside, so it's important that you don't let them sit too long, or you'll end up with a whole other set of problems. I'm gonna try another one of these real quick. It, roasted peanuts. All right, now to try these barbecue flavored ones. This ought to be really interesting. Pop this guy open. Look at that, we got a three, a three nutter there. Hmm, they're hot. That's good, I will say. I think I actually prefer the plain salted ones better. I thought it would be a really interesting thing to do. You can definitely taste a little bit of the smokiness to them. Probably from that liquid smoke is what likely did it, but there you go. Roasted and smoked peanuts at home and your grill or your pit boss smoker. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little different and unique for us. We probably did six or eight batches of these before we had a method that sort of worked really well. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Safe and happy grilling, and we'll see you next week.